What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with another video. And I've got some huge Browns free agency news for you. As according to Josina Anderson, and I quote, I'm told the Browns are working to arrange another visit with free agent edge rusher Jadavian Clowney for Monday at this time per source. Now I'll be honest with you. I saw that tweet pop up on my phone, and I got hyped. But then, a few minutes later, Jonathan Jones chimed in with this. And he said, and I quote, Indeed, the belief is both sides will ultimately strike a deal Monday, per sources. So yeah... If you were hyped after seeing what Josina tweeted, I'm pretty sure you were, like, going nuts when you saw what Mr. Jones tweeted. Pretty much what they're insinuating is Clowney's going to come to Berea. They're probably going to talk contract a little bit. And hopefully, by this time tomorrow, Jadavian Clowney We'll be a brownie. <laughs> but yeah, um, for real though, man. If we really do add Jadavian Clowney to this defensive line. In fact, I even tweeted about this. Uh, this defensive line would be nasty AF. Because your starting front four would be Miles Garrett, Sheldon Richardson, Andrew Billings, and either Clowney or McKinley, you can kind of interchange them. Doesn't really matter. And then the number two pass rushers behind them, the second stringers, would be Curtis Weaver, Jordan Elliott, Malik Jackson, and then the other one between Clowney and McKinley. And honestly, this would be the nastiest front four I've ever seen on the Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, in the tweet, I also added a rookie. You know, I mean, we could always draft one, like, second, maybe third round. But if we do go out and sign Jadavian Clowney, that means you could pretty much eliminate us taking a pass rusher at 26, which I'm perfectly fine with. I mean, if J.C. Horn is there, take him. If Samuel Jr. is there, take him. You know, if you want to take Greg Newsom, take him. I'd be perfectly fine with that. If you want to go linebacker like JOK, huh, do it. I mean, JOK is my draft crush, so I would love that. <laughs> but, uh, man, I wouldn't really be mad with whatever we did, especially if it's a defensive player. If it's an offensive player, like if it's a receiver, I'd be like, oh, wow. I'd be kind of shocked, but I wouldn't really be mad. Unless it's something that we really don't need, you know. But ultimately, you're not really going to see me rage, no matter who we take at 26, unless it's something just completely out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Andrew Barry would do that, you know. He's not stupid. He's not Howie Roseman. <laughs> I mean, he worked under Howie Roseman a couple years ago. But yeah, he's not stupid like Howie Roseman. You're not going to see him taking a quarterback in the second round. When he's got a franchise quarterback already. <laughs> you know, he's not going to do that. At least I hope not. <laughs> For real. But yeah, man, I mean... Wow. Um, if we seriously bring in Jadavian Clowney... All I'm going to say is... Uh, quarterbacks of the AFC North... Or no, quarterbacks of the AFC, beware. I could even say quarterbacks of the NFL, beware. Because I'll tell you one thing. If you thought it was tough dealing with... Miles Garrett alone... Huh. Good luck dealing with Tack and Jadavian. A healthy Curtis Weaver. Maybe we bring in a guy, like I said, a rookie, second or third round, something like that. I mean, if we go second round, I would not, that would not, I wouldn't be mad with Oway there. Or Osai or whatever was it from Texas. I wouldn't be mad with him there. You know, but um, it'll be interesting to see what we do. Of course, I'll start posting more draft videos in the coming weeks. 
But uh, for right now, man, I mean, I'm mainly focusing on the teams that are currently playing right now. But yeah, man, this is huge news, man. Jadavian Clowney's coming to town tomorrow, and hopefully, like I said, by this time, tomorrow, tomorrow, he'll be a Brown. So, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on Twitter, and of course, uh, follow me on Twitter for anything that I might see, because uh, if I see anything dope, I'm probably going to retweet it, so, yeah, but uh, follow me on Twitter at crazy dog. 99 with an underscore between crazy and dog. Follow me on Instagram. I don't usually post a lot on Instagram. I'm trying to post a lot more though. It's the same thing with no underscore. You know, um, yeah, pretty much. But as always, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Comment down below what you would think about Jadavian Clowney coming here. I'm pretty sure everyone else in the AFC North is going to be super salty because all of a sudden the Browns are actually a good team and what do you know, players actually want to come play here. How about that? You know, that's something I never would have said four years ago. You know? Coming off that 0-16 season, I never would have thought we'd be in this position. You know? Isn't that crazy? Was it four years ago today or something like, you know, this year, we were getting ready for Baker Mayfield? Or at least the new quarterback? Who would become Baker Mayfield? How about that? <laughs> yeah, let's freaking go. But yeah, guys, uh, Jadavian Clowney is coming to Berea tomorrow for a visit. Or at least, you know, it's looking like that's going to happen. Yeah, if anything happens, I'll definitely uh, keep you guys updated. If he signs, of course, I'll do a video about it. You know, we'll go through his background information again and all that good stuff. But yeah, man, should be fun. So let's hope he signs on the dotted line, and uh, hopefully we can add another uh, serious weapon to this defense because this defense is looking nasty already, man. I mean, AB is already fortified the secondary, and now he's just working on the D-line a little bit more. You know, add another piece or two before the draft, and then, boom, we're set. Honestly, after this, if we sign Clowney, I would not mind signing a corner and then just saying, all right, that's enough of free agency. We're done. On to the draft. You know? But we'll see what happens. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.